You see something you like? <laughs> you better keep looking at the man in the mirror. Bruh. I know I got a banging body. I got it going on. You must like what you see. You must like what you see. Cause you see a brother like me. Uh, uh, uh. And I'm breaking down. I'm gonna break it down. And when I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Back to the beat. Look, I know it looks big, but it's only three inches from the back wall. <laughs> How your mama now? Let's talk about I like Jay Z. I, 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 I like him as a guy mm. and, the, and the whole Eric thing he created about this fake dope dealing. That's when I stopped disliking him. Like, this nigga ain't doing so no cocaine in his fuck. I don't think he ever won a fight. Like, <laughs> yo, hit that like button. Now, this is the eyeball. Uh, I don't know if you want to call this beef or whatever, um, but this is some oddball shit. I haven't seen something this odd in a long time. I was, what's odd even more, um, Faison took a pic with Alpo Martinez about a year ago. Now, if you know Alpo Martinez, big time Harlem, you know, Harlem nigga back in the 80s, he was Rico. Basically, Cameron played Rico and paid in full. That was the, the same guy he was portraying. So, um... Faison was like, yo, he don't think Jay-Z sold drugs at all. I'm like, yeah, well, he did sell drugs, but Jay-Z mastered the art of manipulation. He was very good with his metaphors. He was a good artist, a good lyricist. He created the illusion that he was, you know, he was a big-time nigga. Now, yeah, he sold coke. He wasn't Nicky Barnes, you know. He wasn't Frank Lucas or, you know, Fat Cat or somebody like that, but he did his thing. Um, Rockefeller startup money, wink, wink. But, um... You know, he came after Jay, and like I say, Faison is, is both of these dudes, Cam and Faison, they're both in like the twilight of their careers. Cam is semi-retired. He gave us that purple haze too last year. It was, eh. Uh, Faison hasn't done anything in a long time. He's kind of like on that Hollywood blacklist with Aerie Spears and a few of them. You know, back in the day, he did Big Worm. He did, uh, he, he was on the Parenthood. He fell out with Robert Townsend. You don't hear too many people falling out with Robert Townsend. Um, so he's kind of in there, but he's nowadays he's known for just trolling and saying wild left field shit on the internet. Because remember last year, he uh, made news and went viral when he said Dave Chappelle isn't funny. Now that's his opinion subjectively, but it looked like it came out of malice and just jealousy and envious, you know, uh, envy. And I'm like, yo, I don't think Kevin Hart's funny, but I'm not a comedian, so when I say it, I don't look like I'm hating necessarily. It looked, it didn't, look, it didn't look good from Faison, so. What's surprising about this is Cam came to the defense of Jay-Z. No one really paid Faison any attention. And I'm like, okay, I know Cam and Jay got on stage last year in Brooklyn with Jimmy, and they squashed it. They, they got a mutual respect for each other now. But uh, I was kind of surprised Cam said what he said. So Cam is now in the mix, and Cam is like, Nah, I'm not going to let you do this. You're not going to come after somebody. I guess maybe it's because it's like hip-hop fraternity. You know, you're not going to come at another rapper. So Cam says, I know me and Hov haven't had the best relationship, but Faison don't know what the fuck he's talking about, rather legally or illegally. Niggas got to do it. Hashtag you wasn't there. Hashtag I was there for some of it. Hustlers respect hustlers. You were selling Nicks out the ice cream truck, which is like a reference to uh, Big Worm. <laughs> and... uh these two are going back and forth now on Instagram. Faison is the comedian. It's funny uh, seeing a comic and a rapper go back and forth. Cam is a funny dude. He's one of the funniest rappers that ever did it. Uh, neither one of them got that sh that pull on social media that they you know probably would have had a few years ago. But uh, you know, Faison got to come a little tougher with the jokes. I don't know who's making his memes. The memes that he made of Cameron really wasn't that funny. I wanted them to be funny, but they weren't. Uh, he posted a pic with Cam and some little. Some female that kind of looks like a dude. <laughs> and then he posted another bundle of cam in some pink shirt at a LBGT pride parade. And uh, they all photoshopped, obviously. You know, the, <laughs> I'm like, Faison got to come a little tougher than that if you're going to go back and forth with somebody. But, yeah, a rapper who's semi-retired and a washed-up comic, I hate to say it, 
uh, getting into it over another man and rather he sold coke or not. You know, because Bajon don't believe Jay-Z sold coke at all, <laughs> let alone he was Nicky Barnes or, you know, Frank Lucas or somebody like that. Faison like, nope, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. He's one of those cats. If it wasn't spot on spot, accurate and authentic, he's not buying it. And I can respect that. I, I feel the same way somewhat about Ross, but I, I won't sit here and say that the man's catalog is trash. I just don't believe him. Uh, so Faison and Cameron got these back and forth. But this, this whole shit is silly. <laughs> you know what I mean? So Cam posts the video. Or the, I think that's from the movie Who's Your Caddy? With Big Boy and Faison's nephew. Faison has, you know, the Cam's uh, goes on and says, yo, you've done a lot of suspect roles in your career, my nigga. And Cam was like, now, before I post this, I have no problem with anybody in the LBGTQ community. Notice he put the disclaimer out there. They, you don't want to fuck with that mafia right there. He says, I have people from this community and my friends I, and family I work with and loved ones I respect. But this is the same Cam I used to run around saying no homo. They got Cam shook. You see how powerful these niggas is? And he says, he's posting memes of me being gay, which I'm not. But this isn't a meme, fat boy. You got some explaining to do. What kind of roles you've been playing in? He says, I think you might want to audition for back, Brokeback Mountain Part 2. So, I mean, this is a little silly back and forth they going. You know, it's kind of entertaining. This is weird as fuck. <laughs> it doesn't make any fucking sense at all. But Cam and, and Faison, like I said, when you're sitting at home, nobody can really work. Concerts ain't popping yet. Stand-up shows, you know, only a few people have been able to do those. These cats are home and then bored. But like I say, this is a 50-year-old man and Cam Faison love and a, somebody who's pushing 50 and Cam and you're arguing about some other man's form of occupation. Let's let that sink in. But, uh, yeah, these dudes, just, both of these niggas look stupid with this shit, to be honest with you. And Jay isn't going to respond. Nobody isn't going to respond. I'm just surprised these two will get it. It's, it's an odd couple. It's an odd fucking thing, to say the least.